Dr. Gregory here again from Beacon of Life. I just want to talk to you about the importance of the discs between your vertebrae in your spine. Your spine is made up of 24 bones. In between those bones, we have cushions of cartilage called discs. On this model, you get a little piece of a low back. Here are the two bones, and we can see these cushions of cartilage. We call them intervertebral discs, or just discs for short. Now, decompression is all about the health of the discs. As we go through life, it's very easy to experience degeneration of these discs. We get little cracks and fissures in the outer part. They can decrease in terms of how thick they are, so the bones get closer and closer. We can get to the point where we're bone on bone grinding. It's like driving a car around town with no shock absorption. And worst case scenario, the inner part of the disc, which is like a, a gel, like a toothpaste, can squish into the little cracks and fissures of these discs as they degenerate, and it can cause it to bulge or push back. And so decompression is all about the health of these discs. Now, what do they do, the discs? I just wanna cover the four functions quickly. They separate the bones, number one. Number two, they keep the nerve openings between each spinal bone open. Think of the nervous system like a tree. The trunk is the spinal cord in the brain, and the branches are these nerve roots that come off of the trunk. These branches exit through these openings between the bones. If the disc degenerates, we eclipse that opening. This is very dangerous. The third function of the disc is they provide some shock absorption. And the fourth is that they act as ligaments actually helping to hold the vertebrae together. So decompression, make it a healthy routine as part of your spinal health. Keep that spine as healthy as you'd keep those teeth. That's it for today, and we'll be back with the next one.